Has somebody ever asked you to send nudes before, but you weren't quite sure what to do? I'm Cassandra Corrado, a sex educator who works with adults to unlearn the pretty harmful stuff that we learned when we were younger. And on today's episode of You Deserve Good Sex, I'll be helping you answer the age-old question, send nudes? Did you know that nearly 90% of us have sexted before? It's true. Sexting, which includes everything from steamy texts to nude videos, can be a fun and healthy way to explore sexual fantasies and feel more connected to our partners. That's especially true for those of us in long distance relationships. Plus, receiving positive feedback on a sultry text that you send can be a big confidence boost. But I don't think I'm gonna blow your mind when I say there are a few things that could go wrong. For one thing, the person we've sexted might intentionally share our messages with somebody else. Or our sex might accidentally be seen because somebody left their device unlocked. There's also a legal aspect to sexting that we need to be clear about. In the United States, it's generally illegal for anyone, even if they're under 18 themselves, to send new photos of a minor. Yes, even if it's consensual, and yes, even if it's between people who are dating. Under the law, it's considered child pornography. So if you or your partner are underage, stick to your words for now. Okay, back to our regularly scheduled programming. If you've been asked to send nude photos, the first thing to do is evaluate the level of trust you have with the person you'd be sending them to. Because the odds of your nude photos being seen by somebody other than that one person you intended, pretty high. One study found that 23% of people who have received a nude photo then shared it with somebody else. Actually, to be accurate, they shared it with an average of 3.17 friends. So consider if you trust that person to keep your private messages private. Forever. If your gut says, oh, or danger, 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 go ahead and say nope to their request. Remember, you don't owe anybody pictures of your body. You don't even owe them an explanation of why you don't want to send them. If they keep pushing you and ignoring your boundaries, that's a major red flag, and it's likely that behavior won't be limited just to sexting. Let's say you've decided you trust the person enough to send them some nudes. Now what? I'll be honest with you, there's no 100% safe way to send nude photos. Instead, focus on reducing that risk with a few key strategies, like using an encrypted app. And no, Instagram and Snapchat don't meet the standard. Two that do are Signal, which is free, and Confide, which comes with a fee, but also comes with more features. Also, when you take a photo with your phone's camera, that file might include data that could compromise your privacy, like your GPS location. So download an app for your device that can help you remove that metadata. Another recommendation, photograph strategically. You don't have to send full frontal nudes to be sexy and flirtatious. Your pose can help you flaunt what you've got and give you an extra layer of protection. Position yourself so that identifiable body markings like tattoos or moles aren't visible. And while you're at it, leave out your face and use a neutral background. Ready to send that photo? Hold on. There's one last critical step you cannot under any circumstances skip. Before you ever send somebody a sext, you have to have a conversation about boundaries and expectations. Do the photos need to be deleted? And if so, when? Are certain times of day off limits or will you set up a sexting date? What types of messages are you cool with sending and what is definitely not happening? Come up with a plan and stick to it. I hope that these tips help you feel a little more comfortable and confident handling the next late night request that comes your way. As long as it's consensually done and you've planned for how you'll protect yourself, there's absolutely nothing wrong with sending nudes or doing any other type of sexting. So remember your angles and photograph away. Thanks for watching. If you're craving more videos on sex, abortion, parenthood, and more, subscribe to our channel. And if you learned something new today, share this video with a friend. They deserve good sex too.